Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajmandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am also the medical author of the book Focused Neurology. My email is sriklpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very fascinating topic, false stains mini mental status examination. False stain mini mental status examination. Cognitive neurology part 4, false stain mini mental status examination. Yes. False stain mini mental status examination actually has been devised as a fast way of assessing the overall mental status examination. So this is known as mini mental status examination. A number of short screening mental status evaluation instruments have been developed for bedside use. But the most widely used of these is the Folstein mini mental status examination. The mini mental status examination or shortly or known as the MMSE, it just takes about 10 minutes to be administered and the maximum score is 30. The minimal normal performance depends on the age and the educational level but it has been variously stated as between 24 and 27. A cut off score of 23 is suggested for detecting dementia in a community sample. As I said the maximum score is 30 and the minimum cut off score is 23. So it basically tests 5 important components orientation, registration, attention and calculation, recall and language. So 5 points are given for 5 plus 5, 10 points are given for orientation, 3 points for registration, 5 points for attention and calculation, 3 points for recall and 9 points for language, totally 30 points. So the cutoff is 23. Uh, less than 23 indicates that the person has got the mental status being affected uh, dementia. Yeah, first is orientation. So we ask what are the day, date, month, season and year. So we give one point to each amounting to five points. Then we ask where are we, country, state, city, hospital, flow. One point for each that is five point. So totally 10 points for orientation. The next we test is registration. Name three objects. First to say each. Then ask the patient to repeat all three. You give one second to say each then ask the patient to repeat all three. Give one point for each correct answer then repeat until all three are registered. So we give again three points for registration. The next component we test is attention and calculation. We give five points, serial sevens, one point for each correct answer. Stop after five answers. Alternatively spell world backwards. So we give five points. 1 point for each serial 7s, 1 point for each correct answer, stop after 5 answers. Alternatively, the spell world backwards, W-O-R-L-D, spell it backwards, that is D-L-R-O-W. The next component we test is recall. Are the 3 objects repeated above? Give 1 point for each correct answer. So we give totally 3 points again. Finally, language where we give 9 points in total. Name a pencil and a watch. We give 2 points, 1 point for each. Repeat the following. Nose, 
ifs or buts give one point follow a three stage command take a piece of paper in your right hand fold it in half and put it on the floor so one point for each take a piece of paper in your right hand one point fold it into half one point and put it on floor one point so totally three points read and obey the following close your eyes give one point write a sentence one point is awarded copy a design one point is awarded so totally nine points are awarded are awarded in language component testing so totally it contains 30 points 5 plus 5 10 points for orientation 3 points for registration 5 points for attention and calculation 3 points for recall and 9 points for language so a person has got less than 23 points that means his mental status is affected so it's a very fast way of testing the mental status examination Folstein's mini mental status examination mental status cannot be adequately evaluated in a patient who is not alert or aphasic so if a person is not alert or aphasic person has got aphasia the mental status cannot be adequately evaluated right but what are the disadvantages of this mini mental status examination Folstein's mini mental status examination there are definitely disadvantages the MMSC Folstein's mini mental status examination is not sensitive to non-dominant hemisphere so the non-dominant hemisphere that is the parietal lobe there are a lot of spatial orientations functions in fact it does not test much of the functions of the non-dominant hemisphere and second the mini mental scale examination the false mini mental scale examination does not test much of the frontal lobe pathology like abstract thinking and other functions of the frontal lobe pathology inside judgment it does not test much so the disadvantages are that MMS is not sensitive to a non-dominant parietal lobe hemisphere pathology or it is not sensitive to frontal lobe pathology and the weakness of MMSC are an overemphasis of language functions we have seen in the false sense mini mental series examination they have given 9 out of 30 points to only language functions so they have given overemphasis to language functions and an underemphasis on memory constructions that is a parietal lobe functions and abstract reasoning that is a frontal lobe uh, testing so the weakness of MMSC are an overemphasis on language functions and an underemphasis on memory constructions and abstract reasoning However, despite these advantages, it is still a very good screening examination for mental status examination that is the false strains mini mental status examination. So these are all the important components, advantages and disadvantages of false strains mini mental status examination. Hope you have enjoyed listening to my class. All the important points of neurology I put in a question answer format in a book called Focus Neurology. It is available online from all booksellers including Amazon where I am the author Dr. S. Srinivas. It could be bought if desired. Hope you have enjoyed the concepts of false sense mini mental status examination. If you have liked it, kindly subscribe to my channel and share these uh, important points to your friends also. But please like and subscribe my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my IB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts and connect to me on my email 3klpm at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye.